Hello guys, Garuda here with another short Dust Caven video. This is the second entry in a new series, Dust Caven 101, where I explain in a few short videos the core concepts of how to play on Dust Caven. I've previously explained how to gear up on Dust Caven as a fresh level 60, so check out that video if you're interested, link in the description. Today I'll talk about the Mythic Plus system here, because it's a core part of playing on Dust Caven, from getting you some starter gear and preparing you for raids, to getting several really, really strong items which you might not replace for a long, long time. What are Mythic Plus dungeons? Simply put, they're classic dungeons such as Dead Mines or Scarlet Monastery, upgraded to level 60 with appropriate level mobs, and they come in four tiers of difficulty. Mythic Plus 2, Plus 4, Plus 6, and Plus 8. As opposed to normal dungeons, in a Mythic Plus dungeon, no loot drops from mobs or bosses. You only get rewarded at the end if you complete all objectives, which are usually just killing the bosses, and at higher key levels you'll also need to do it within a time frame. That means it is definitely possible to fail a Mythic Plus, usually by running out of time. The loot is contained in a chest, which usually gives you between 3 and 4 items, sometimes more. This loot is shared between all dungeons in the current Mythic Plus dungeon pool, so nothing is unique and you can get any item from any dungeon. Here's an overview of what you can get in the current Season 2, some pretty decent stuff. There's also a chance to get a Token of the Conqueror, which can be turned in for a chest, shoulder, head, gloves or pants piece of gear. And at the Mythic Plus 8 difficulty, you've got an 80% chance at a Mythic Season 2 token, which you can turn in for a stronger version of the Mythic Plus tier set. The current season's Mythic Plus dungeon pool consists of Sunken Temple, Stockades, Shadowfang Keep, Scarlet Monastery Graveyard and Cathedral. Getting started with doing Mythic Plus on Dusk Haven is easy. There are no achievements or anything. Anyone can enter a dungeon and activate the Mythic Plus versions. But in order to get loot at the end, you or someone in your party will need to have the appropriate key. Step 1 is thus either getting a key yourself, or joining a party where someone else has the key, usually found through the global chat channel. You can get a random Mythic Plus 2 key from most of the level 55 plus dungeons, including BRD Emperor, but excluding Dire Mall East. The final boss will drop 1 out of 5 keys, and everyone can roll on them. The keys are unique, so you can only have one of each, but you can have a plus 2, plus 4, plus 6 and plus 8 key for the same dungeon. Step 2 is getting to the dungeon and starting the quest at the font of power as seen here. Don't forget to delete any previous Mythic Plus quests before starting another, or you'll be in another instance and your group will need to run out, abandon their quests, reset the dungeon and run back in. Make sure everyone is ready before starting, as everyone will need to accept the quest so they're in the correct phase. Everyone will get ported, to the start of the instance, excluding the one who actually started it. Usually that's not a problem because the dungeon starts at the font, but in Sunken Temple, the one who started has to run a bit to rejoin the group. As many plus twos or plus fours per day as you want, but the plus six and plus eight quests are daily, so you can only do those once a day. Step three is simply completing the dungeon, keeping within the time frame on plus six or plus eight. When you complete the dungeon in time, Whoever has the key can complete it at the font at the end, and then a chest will spawn, containing random loot which everyone can roll on. The one who completes the quest will also get a random upgraded key. So for example, if you did a plus 4, you'll get a plus 6 key. If you complete a plus 8 key, you'll get another random plus 8 key. You used to be able to key stack, which meant that the font reset upon leaving the dungeon, and you kept your completed quest. Which means you could get 5 times loot for one dungeon run. Pretty overpowered and while it was definitely very useful to quickly gear up, I understand why it was removed. Right now you can do a modified and weakened version of this by having people with the same key turn it in at the exact split second, but it rarely works and is highly dependent on the MS of the players. Anyway, just like in retail, every key applies specific affixes to the dungeon. For example, raging, bolstering, spiteful and searing on plus 8, but only raging on plus 2. These affixes are a huge reason why the higher keys are more difficult, combined with higher damage and more HP on the NPCs, and of course also the timers. 
Raging makes the mobs and rage at low HP, increasing their damage quite a lot. Bolstering increases damage and health of the remaining mobs when one of them dies, and this stacks. Spiteful makes the NPCs spawn a ghost upon their death, and Searing makes them put a random debuff on players, which absorbs healing and needs to be spam healed, or it'll explode into AoE fire damage. These affixes sure spice up the runs, and in many cases make trash more difficult than a boss. What kind of gear do you need to do Mythic Plus? Well, like I explained in my How to Gear Up in Dusk Haven video, as a fresh level 60 you can go straight into plus 2s without much hassle, especially if you're just a DPS. I would advise you to run at least a few level 58 plus normal dungeons to get decent gear though, so you're not a liability. Plus 4s are a step up, but not that much. You can form a group of 3 to 4 people and farm them easily. Once you get into the plus 6 tier, you're going to need some decent gear, or have a party which is geared and willing to carry you. The plus 8s are usually the most difficult in general, although some bosses are easier on plus 8 than on plus 6, with several mechanics that can one-shot you and wipe the party. The timers aren't usually that tight, except in Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. If you complete all 5 dungeons on the highest difficulty, you get the title Keystone Hero, a bind on account mount, and a token which you can exchange for really strong gear. This quest can be done once a week, and can be picked up near the PvP vendors in Stormont and Orgrimmar. And there's also a weekly Proof of Demise quest from the Call Board, which asks you to kill one of the plus 8 final bosses. I think it's supposed to be random, but has been Aragol in Shadowfan Keep every single week since it was introduced, which is technically possible, but statistically unlikely. Complete this and you get some gold and a random plus 8 key. And that's about it regarding the Duskhaven Mythic Plus system. In my opinion, it's really fun, straightforward, and gives you the chance of some decent entry-level gear at lower tiers, and really strong gear at the highest level. And let's not forget that every few months or so, the dungeon pool changes. Currently, we're in Season 2, but as I talked about in my video about what we can expect from Duskhaven this year, around summer we'll get a fresh batch, which will certainly bring a lot of interest from new and old players alike. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.